Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have finally a loaf chopping video for you. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, but I just haven't had the time to set up a new place to film and figure out what, how I wanted to do it and stuff. So I'm finally going to do it today. I have no idea how this is going to come out because I have not chopped a loaf in years. Um, so this is what I'm going to be using to chop it up with. And I know that this isn't like the normal wax cutter. I did order one of the normal ones off of eBay, but it's like one of those things that's from China. And I didn't realize that when I bought it. And... <clears throat> It says that the estimated delivery date, I ordered it on August 25th, and it said that the estimated delivery date was between September 6th and the 26th, <laughs> and I think we're at, what, like the 15th or 16th right now, and I still don't have it. So I found this at Bed Bath & Beyond, and it's the next best thing. So I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm doing here, because I've never really filmed this way before. All right, so I'm just gonna get started. I did nuke it for a little while in the microwave. And by the way, this is Nova Prime. I don't even know how to do this. I'm so not used to doing this. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. <laughs> Nova Prime, which is Bakery Shop, Sweet Lemon Meringue, and Blackberry Cream. We'll see how this goes. So, um... Someone had said in the comments when I had talked about wanting to film a video like this, what like questions or comments you guys might have had, and someone had asked me about the restocks that have been coming up. There was a super tart restock and, well not really a restock, but a pre-order, and it was for like all the Christmas scents, the band bags and stuff, and she had asked me what I felt about the new restocks and what I'd be picking up. And I actually did not do the one from Super Tarts because, honestly, like, I'm just not crazy about some of the winter scents that she has. And, I mean, I like a couple of them, don't get me wrong, but there was just not enough for me to justify placing a whole order for sidekicks and, like, band bags and stuff if I'm not going to get a decent amount. Um... So I actually did end up skipping that one, but how I feel in general about, you know, the winter restocks and the fall restocks in general, um, fall is my favorite time of year. I love the scents. I love the, the colors. I love all the stuff that these vendors have come out with. I think it's awesome. So I will be hitting up a couple of them. Um, I know Rose Girls is having one fairly soon for her fall stuff and I'm really excited about that because it's the ready to ship one the pre-order you know already came and went and um, she's getting ready to do the ready to ship stuff now and I'm very excited about that because we all know I love my rose girls um I'm trying to think because like honestly between like rose girls and super tarts like that's really all I ever buy I'm making a big mess here um <laughs> Yeah, those are my two favorite vendors to order from, for those of you who are wondering if you haven't noticed, you know, by this channel. <laughs> those are my two favorite vendors to order from. So I am pretty excited about that. I'm trying to think of some other things to talk about. Um, let's see. All right, so that one's done. You know what? It's not the prettiest. And I do have wax paper. This is like the craziest thing. I bought a whole thing of wax paper. So I won't make, you know, a huge mess. And I feel like, you know, the wax paper can go in the microwave so I can heat up some of the stuff, like some of the loaves and whatnot. And I cannot, for the life of me, find it. I bought it a couple weeks ago, anticipating that I was going to do the videos then, but I didn't. So I figured, you know, I'll just, you know, come back to it, whatever. It's not a big deal. And uh, I can't find it. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm using tin foil because that was the next best thing, even though... I mean, this should be fine. I can still just pick it up, but for nuking it, you obviously cannot put tin foil in the microwave. So I've been using just paper towels to heat these up and make them a little bit easier to cut, but I'm still making a mess. But I never said that I was perfect at cutting loaves, so still a love cutting video. <laughs> so what have you guys been up to? What are your plans? What's today, Saturday? Are you guys enjoying your weekend? Do you have any plans? 
Are you staying home? Is it just a cleaning type of day for you? Because I already went on vacation. As you guys know, I went last Monday and it was actually my anniversary with my boyfriend, which is why we decided to go on vacation in the first place. Oh man, I should have picked up, I should have got another piece of tin foil. Um, I'm gonna throw this one. Actually, I don't even think I need to nuke this one. This one's from Vintage Robe Candles. And um, her wax is already pretty soft, so I'm not going to need to nuke this one. But I do need to get another piece of paper, or a tin foil, I mean. So this is what that one looks like. If I can figure out how I'm doing this. You guys get the gist. <laughs> um, and this one is in... Let's see here. I know I held this one already. Strawberry cupcakes at Tiffany's. Lemon sugar, blueberry cheesecake, cotton candy frosting. And I can't read that. I think it's called That Thing You Do. And this is one of her monthly loaves that she does all the time. Sorry, I had to grab another piece of tin foil. Um, so yeah, went on vacation. Anniversary with my boyfriend. And um, our anniversary is actually on Monday. And... Move that out of the way. And um, Monday was the 10th. And that is our anniversary, September 10th. But on Tuesday, you know, we were still obviously in Maine. That's where we went. We went to Old Orchard Beach, and we just did a lot of sightseeing and shopping and a lot of the stuff that we normally do. But, um, of course, you know, September 11th rolled around as we were still on vacation. And, you know, it was kind of just a day where we both wanted to be happy because we were on vacation and we were having fun and we were buying stuff and experiencing new things with each other and it was a really great experience but at the same time we both kind of wanted to just take that day to be sad um you know as kind of bad as that sounds because you know it's supposed to be a happy time but you know having an anniversary right next to September 11th is hard because, of course, we both want to be happy, but at the same time, we both wanted to kind of just, like, sit down and appreciate what we had and kind of be sad for the people that, you know, lost their lives that day. And it kind of stinks, too, because, wow, this wax is really soft and it's definitely falling apart on me, but that's all right. Um, it kind of stinks, too, because, you know, we were both so young when it happened. I think I was in maybe second grade, maybe. Um... And I remember just being in class and then all of a sudden, like, they were telling us to just, you know, kind of stay in our seats, don't, don't say anything, don't talk. And we're like, what is going on? And I remember my mom came to pick me up from school that day and I was so young, like, I had no idea what was going on. And I remember my mom picked me up from school that day and she was like, are you okay? Like... You know, I'm coming, like, everybody's parents, I think, came to Gotham early. I think that's what it was. And um, I remember we just went home, and she was just glued to the TV. My mom and my dad were both just glued to the TV set, and me and my sister were only, you know, a year and a half apart, and we're, so we're both really young at the time, and we're just like, what is going on? Like, what's happening? And, you know, it's a hard thing to try to explain to a child, you know, like, how do you explain something like that? And I remember they were just glued to that TV set. And then I remember going out to eat a few days later with my dad. And they are playing it on the TV at that restaurant. It was like a pizza place that we go to all the time. And they were playing, you know, the whole scenario on the news. And I remember looking up and seeing the Twin Towers burning. And in my little six-year-old, seven-year-old mind, I'm like, oh, it was a fire. So, like, that, that's what was going on. I honestly thought it was, like, a fire. And... I remember asking my dad, I'm like, Daddy, how long are they going to be talking about this? And I remember, like, him and my mom, like, both with, like, tears in their eyes, they kind of just, like, took my hands there and, like, honey, they're going to be talking about this for the rest of your life. And I had no idea what that meant. I had no idea how serious it was being so young. And at the same time, it's like, I really wanted to educate myself and understand what was happening. But at the same time, it's like, the less I knew, the better I felt. And I know that might sound really ignorant and weird to say, but it's like so many people died that day and I really didn't want to make this a sad video, but it's just, you know, kind of just crazy to think about. And it's like, we should all be, you know, happy for the people who weren't affected and didn't have family members lost that day. You should kind of just like count your blessings, take that day and realize how much you have. 
and you know what you could have lost that day so yeah, that's kind of what we were going through and we didn't really think about it before we left but like we still had fun it was still a really good day i'm glad that we both experienced it with each other because maine is beautiful i am so envious of everybody who lives in maine like has the privilege of living there because it is gorgeous and everything was like so cheap compared to um living in connecticut although we're really not that far away i think the drive was maybe three hours in a car um so not that we're that far away but it's crazy how different things are over there and you know how cheap everything is like i remember just walking into the stores of like Walgreens and stuff like that. And we're just like, wow, everything is so cheap. <laughs> so that was really cool. Um, let's see, what else can we discuss here? Cause there's really not much to talk about besides, you know, the whole vacation thing. Everything else has been pretty normal over here. Still in the process of getting everything together and seeing where I want to place everything after moving. Um, so that's a thing. It's a big thing <laughs> but it's nice like I'm glad that you know being at the age that I am I'm only 24 but I know at the same time like a lot of people are out on their own before I was and um it's just like it's really cool to experience that kind of stuff this is so like falling apart this is like the, probably the most unattractive <laughs> love cutting video anyone has ever seen in their life but that's all right it's just all going to be melted down anyway. It's like all the chunks are coming out because it was like chunks all the way through. I thought it was just on top of the loaf, but it's literally like all the way through the loaf. But I will say it makes for some really pretty chunks. It's really pretty. So how do you guys feel about the, the restocks and stuff that are coming up? Are you excited? Do you not care? Or is fall not your favorite scent time of the year? Do you prefer summer? Let me know. Tell me. Let's see here. I don't even know how I'm going to bag this. This is just making more and more of a mess. <laughs> oh, gosh. So I saw a couple of you comment on what I was saying about the D-stashes lately and how they're just, like, not been selling. And I feel like it's gotten a little bit better. But like I had said, I think I said it in my other video that people are kind of just like saving money for all the new restocks for the fall and Christmas stuff. So they're not really paying attention to these stashes. So I feel like that could be like a huge, you know, a thing about it. Um, I've been addicted to buying these stashes lately. It's either like I'm completely turned off from buying them and I just don't want to deal with it at all. Or like I'm just always, always buying them like left and right. There's always something that I want. So Right now, I'm in the stage of, I want this, I want this, I want this, and I want this. <laughs> That's basically where I'm at right now. And although a lot of the D-stashes that I've been buying are, um, you know, are small, it's still, you know, fun to buy from people. And it's kind of like... I don't know. I remember from being so turned off by these stashes and I would just like never ever buy them. I never felt the need to want anything. I'm like, I'll just buy my own wax from the vendors. I'll wait for a pre-order. I'll wait for the ready to ship. I don't care. Um, and like now I'm just like, I want all of this stuff. <laughs> oh boy. This is something I'm going to have to go through pretty fast because this is just a mess. My goodness. Wow. I think I'm going to stick it to two loaves in this video and then make another one and cut up a couple more, like two per video. I think that's about good because I'm just making a big mess here. Oh my goodness. So yeah, to the D-stash thing. Um, it's just getting like harder and harder to sell, as you guys know. I'm sure a lot of you have tried to post D-stashes and people are just like, not wanting them but at the same time it's kind of cool that people aren't really buying them because it like saves more for the people that do want to buy them if you like understand what i mean so that's kind of cool because i've seen so many awesome d stashes from people that i'm friends with or you know just random people that i don't really know and they're posting like really awesome like rose girls d stashes vcs um i've seen people selling like their super pans and their sidekicks and bam bags from super tarts which i think is really awesome Oh yeah, update on that fake and bake bag. Still doesn't smell any better, so that stinks. 
I'm not happy about that, but I am going to try and melt some today and see if it, you know, gets back to its normal state. But honestly, I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm really not because it just doesn't look good at this point. And I don't want to sound awful by saying this because like, obviously I don't think it was anything malicious on the girl's part. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to call her a scammer or she sent me the wrong item or, you know, whatever, because like, that's not what it is. I honestly don't think it was anything malicious on her part. I really don't. But what I will say is I kind of just wish that she noticed sooner that it obviously doesn't smell right. I mean, to anybody who buys vegan bake, you can clearly see that it, it doesn't smell right. Um, maybe she just didn't know. Again, I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt because, you know, I've never known her. I don't really know her at all. And I've never seen her name anywhere, like, as a scammer. And I feel so petty, like, for keeping to, like... I know I feel like so petty when I bring this up, but I don't think I'm being petty as in like, you know, wanting what I paid for, you know what I mean? So I'm hoping this actually came out really pretty, as messy as it looks. I think the colors are really pretty. Um, I'm kind of just hoping that it wasn't a malicious thing on her part. Things happen and I'll just suck it up and, you know, buy another one or, or something. Just wait until Brandy restocks the fake and bake and I can just buy my own that way. So I think that's honestly about it. This was just a big video of a bunch of blabbering and nonsense. <laughs> Hopefully these videos get better as I get used to doing it. Wipe some of this off. I mean, I'm gonna have to wash it anyway, but that's all right. Yeah, honestly, I just wanted to change the pace. I wanted to do a new video. I wanted to do one that I haven't done yet. See people's reactions from it. See if you guys like it. And I know it's not very aesthetically pleasing, but I was hoping it was at least a little bit fun for you guys to watch. And also, I want your guys' input. What do you guys want to talk about? What do you want to know? What do you want to tell me? Because I want to know things. I'm nosy. All right, so I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like these types of videos, please let me know, and I will keep making them. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.